If you're a dark table purist, please move on because this video is not for you. I can already see people going in the comment section like, Oh, this is not the right way. This is not how it was intended to do. Blah, blah, blah. But I don't care because in this video, I'm going to show you how to easily edit your photo by using just one module. Let's go. And here we have a photo of my beautiful daughter. And now... We need to edit this and we're going to do that by using the color balance RGB module. I'm going to activate it. Now let's look at this image. It's dull. So that means it needs contrast. It's properly exposed. Maybe it could use a little bit more highlights. There we go. So we don't have to work on that a lot. And the colors are dull. So we need to bring those up as well. So let's start with the contrast slider. Now up here you have the master tab, the four ways tab and the masks. I don't use this one. I'm not going to explain this one in this video. And then we have the four ways tab, which I'm not going to use in this video as well, but it's very very handy when you want to use like a teal and orange color scheme and here we have the master tab again this is what we are going to use now like i said this image is very dull so let's add some contrast first and we need quite a bit to make this come alive and then once we've added the contrast we have these options so the linear chroma grading the perceptual saturations grading and the perceptual brilliance grading now the linear chroma grading affects the chroma dimensions proportionally to its input value at constant hue and luminance it does this globally with a flat coefficient using the global chroma as well as on each of the shadows midtones and highlights masks so those are these three then we have the perceptual saturation grading and that affects both the luminance and the chroma dimensions in a perceptual space proportionally to its input value at a constant u and then the last one is the perceptual brilliance grading and that affects both the luminance and the chroma dimensions in a perceptual space proportionally to its input value at constant u and in a direction orthogonal to the saturation its effect is closer to that of changing exposure but scaled perceptually i'm going to increase the global chroma and i'm going to increase the global saturation and i'm going to increase the global brilliance to really brighten up this image now the colors still look washed out so i'm going to add some global vibrance as well and now let's see a before and after so here's the before and here's the after all while using just one module and moving some sliders around. And I'm so lazy, I didn't even switch on my light for this shot. I hope you guys like it. See you next time. Doei.